Today we're visiting with Northeast Fisheries Supervisor Randy Hiltner. I'm Mike Anderson with the North Dakota Game and Fish Department. Welcome to the program, Randy. Thanks, Mike. Randy, going into winter, things were pretty dry. How are things looking in the Northeast? Well, we've got enough snow this winter where we're expecting some runoff to help fill some of those lakes up to a degree. Okay, how, how about access? Uh, for this summer, shouldn't be too many issues, especially if we get a little bump on our water levels in our smaller lakes and district water. Okay, you guys just finished, the fisheries crew in the Northeast just finished their dissolved oxygen testing. What'd you find? Generally it was good and we had some concerns going into winter with lower lake levels that we might have more winter kill. Uh, but uh, so we only have had about six lakes that have had really low oxygen levels. Uh, and two of those are pretty good fisheries, Island Lake and Bisbee Dam. Bisbee Dam is currently having a, uh, going through a winter kill and uh, we'll have to net that and see how it fares, if it's significant or not. Okay, and you expected it to be worse though? Yeah, I thought we'd probably have a few more primary fisheries that the winter kill than what actually will. Okay, and with those lakes that winter kill, you'll get them on the stocking request list this spring or? Yeah, yeah, we certainly will. In some cases, we might be able to trap and transport adult fish into those fisheries and get them up and running sooner. Okay, Randy, let's move into what everybody wants to know. How are fish populations in the Northeast? Let's talk walleyes first. Overall, they're good. Um, walleyes, we've got some really nice fisheries. Uh, Lake Coe and North Lake Washington have nice big fish. Going down to the southwest, Herdsfield Tuffy Lake and uh, Goose Lake, all good walleye fisheries. Okay, let's move into our state fish, the northern pike. Yes, we're still doing pretty well on pike. Some of the other districts maybe <laughs> have a little lower water than we've had, but we, we're still doing pretty well. Carpenter Lake in the Turtle Mountains, along with Lake Upswan. Um, going south of Devil's Lake, Wood Lake's got a nice pike population, as does Red Willow. Okay, how about panfish in the northeast? Um, bluegills, again, Wood Lake's a good spot to go for bluegills, I think. If you throw a bobber and worm out there, you're pretty much guaranteed some action. So it's a good place to bring a kid. Um, bluegills are good up in Lake Upsilon. Also, uh, there's some in North Golden Lake, Fordville Dam. There's quite a few places. Probably go on the website and do that search and find where the bluegill are. Speaking of the website and that search, uh, the fisheries crew just revamped the Where to Fish page mm -hmm. on the website. Let's talk about, where would you send somebody uh, on that page to go fishing in your district? For a specific? Yeah, let's talk for, walleyes for or, walleye. or pike or whatever, yeah. Well, you might go on that page and just hit 50 miles from Devil's Lake, a radius, and then the walleye fisheries like Cole would show up and North Lake Washington would show up just in that search. Okay, would anglers have a good uh, place to shore fish on those two lakes? Yeah, especially in the spring. Uh, Shore anglers tend to do just as well as boat anglers in sp spring and early summer and, and your water weeds haven't grown up yet so you don't have to worry about snagging those as you cast out so that's, that's a good time to get out is early uh, summer and spring. Any other panfish in your district? Yeah, we've got some crappies, uh, Whitman Dam and Hami Dam have a good population of crappies. Of course yellow perch are popular, South Golden Lake is good for some decent sized perch. Um, so, and we do have perch in most of our lakes and reservoirs. Not all are quality size, but certainly big enough to make a kid happy. Okay, any other fish in your district? We do have a really good trout lake in Hooker Lake, and as far as I know, it's overwintering, oxygen wise. So there should be some really big uh, rainbow trout up in Hooker Lake. Okay, uh, things in the Northeast look good. Yeah. Yeah, especially if we get a little bump in water levels to help with access and and uh, it'll flood some uh, shoreline habitat which makes for good spawning for certain species of fish. A lot of great information, Randy. Thank Thanks, you. Mike.